All right, let's continue the property of log. In the last video, uh, we introduced the true theorem, right? Which is another uh, true formula, sorry. First one is A raised to log, sorry. A raised to the log A as the base of M equals M. And the second one is log a as the base of a to the rth power equals r. Okay, that's the first, that's the second. Now we are going to introduce four more properties of logarithm. All right, number three, it says the log of a product equals the sum of the logs. Okay, so write as log parenthesis m times n, okay, that will equivalent to the summation of each factor's log, which is log a s base m plus log a s base n. Okay, so the log of a product equals the sum of the two logs. And a very similar, uh, the log of a quotient equals the difference of the two logs. Okay, so log a as the base m divided by n, that will equals log a as the base of m minus log a as base of n. Okay, so these two you can kind of memorize together. All right, and then the other two is the log of a power equals the product of the power and the log. So log a as the base of m raised to the r power, and then this power r actually can move to the front as the product, okay, of the power and the log. Okay, actually the formula two use the same, okay, use the same law. The power is moved to the front, right? Multiply and then log A of the A, that's one. That's why one times R is R. And then the other one is A raised to the R power is equivalent to e raised to the r times ln of a, right? Uh, you can think about this way, uh, e r ln of a, that's the same as e ln and then a to the r power, right? And then e of ln, these two can cancel out, that's why it's a raised to the r power, right? That's why these two equivalent. All right, so now we're gonna use all those properties to do some exercise, which is write the logarithm expression as a sum or difference of log. So now let's look at the example. Write the logarithmic expression as sum of a logarithm. So write this as a sum of the logs. Okay, and then express all the powers as factors. So log a as the base parenthesis x times square root of x squared plus one. Okay, where x greater than zero. So let's look at it, okay? So we're gonna concentrate on this part. So this is a product, right? x times this. So that's why we can write as the sum of two log is log a s base of x plus right multiply we can write the sum of the two logs that's the first step right and then the second term first one is nothing else we can do about it but the second one square root Okay, square root of x squared plus one is equivalent to x squared plus one raised to one half power. Okay, that's why one half is the power, so we can write as the coefficient or factor. So that's how to simplify. Okay. But x squared plus one, this one, we cannot further break it as log x squared plus log of one, okay? We don't have such a property. Only when these two are multiplied, we can write as sum of the two logs, 
All right, so be careful. This is easy to make mistakes. All right, that's the solution. And then it's listing what property to apply. Okay. And let's try another one. Len x squared divided by x minus 3 raised to the third power. So first, divide. We can write a difference, right? That's x squared minus ln of x minus 1 to the third power. And then the power we need to express as the factor, right? That's 2 ln of x minus 3 ln of x minus 1 in the parentheses. Again, x minus 1 in the parentheses, we cannot further down to the two different logs, okay? That's the solution and what property to apply.